Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Hearing Choices here. So, self-sabotage. What is it about this that seems so hard to break? Sometimes it's just all that we were able to do is to, things are going well, so we must find a way to sabotage ourselves. Now this all comes once again back down to how much we value ourselves, how much we believe that we can actually break through and be more, do more, have more because we have ourselves set on a little scale of values. So we believe that we sit somewhere on this. We can go down, but we'll come back. We go up and then we self-sabotage to come back or even further back down. So that is what this is all about. How much we value ourselves and those around us, as well as how much we believe that we're worth, whether that be financially, whether that be career-wise, how much we can actually do and how much we believe we can actually do things as well. So it's worth tapping out. All of those self-sabotaging behaviors, all of those limiting beliefs about who we are and how much we're actually worth and how much we value ourselves. So as we get into it, even though I have these self-sabotaging behaviors, I deeply, completely honor and accept myself. Even though I have some of these self-sabotaging behaviors, I deeply and completely know that I can move past them, that I can let them go completely. And we'll come up to the head. <coughs> Even though I do sometimes self-sabotage myself, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though in the past I have cause my own self-sabotage, I know I can move past it. And all this self-sabotage is, is just a reminder to myself of what I think of myself. And every time I self-sabotage myself, it's just a reminder of where I feel I sit on a scale of value. And so knowing this, I know that I can break through this. I know that I am worth more, that I can be, do and have even more. I know even if I don't want that thing physically, that I know that I'm worth it, that I know that I can have it if I did really want it. And I know that I can easily break through all of these old things holding me back all of these old ideas about who I am and about how much I'm worth and about what I'm capable of, I can easily break through those. Easily break through those into new empowering thoughts, new empowering ways of being. I know that I no longer need to self-sabotage. I know that things no longer need to turn out bad for me. I can have the life that I desire. I can have the things that I desire. I allow myself to experience the life that I desire. And I know that life can be as good as I want it to be. I know that I am perfectly capable and more than deserving of living the life of my dreams. I deserve to live the life of my dreams. And no matter what happens, what anybody says, nothing can diminish the value I have in myself. Nothing can stop that value that I have for myself growing day by day, knowing that I am worthy, knowing that I am worth more than what I'm currently occupying, knowing I am more than capable 
of what I am currently doing. And just knowing that I can easily break this self-destructive habit. That I can break these cycles of sabotage. And I know that they have kept me safe in the past. In their own way. I thank them for that. But I no longer need that security net. Because I am ready to play at an even greater level. I am ready to play with more fun, more enthusiasm, more love in life. And I know that I deserve all these things, that I am worthy of them. I recognise and acknowledge that these behaviours have just been a way for me to stop showing up, to stop showing up and to always give me a reason as to why things didn't work out. But now I am completely ready, completely ready to step into my divine destiny. To step into that and become more than I've ever dreamed of. And I know that I'm completely capable and that nothing needs to hold me back anymore. There is nothing in my subconscious that is holding me back. There is nothing in my conscious that is holding me back. There is nothing in the universe that needs to hold me back anymore. Because I know that I am ready. I am ready for more. I'm ready to break those old cycles. and truly to become who I am meant to be. And with that, I allow my unconscious mind to give me glimpses of that, who I will be once I break these patterns, once I break through that self-sabotaging behavior, who will I be? Where will I go? What vastness and abundance lies beyond where I currently am operating from. And I allow myself to feel that. Allow myself to feel that completely. And just taking a nice deep breath in. Feeling those energies, allowing them to become part of each and every cell of your being through your fingers, through your toes, all the way through your whole entire body. And as you exhale, letting all that out, breathing out anything else that needs to come out with that. So that's just a simple tapping solution for breaking that self-sabotaging behavior. That self-sabotaging behavior that you no longer need. That no longer is part of you. That's true for you. So guys, do that as much as it takes. And also to don't be afraid to add in your own things for that. Whatever comes up for you around the subject of self-sabotage. And the more that you do this, the more and the faster you'll see those successes. You see yourself or you stop those limiting behaviors that come in there, the more that you will recognize that you are enough, that you are worthy of whatever the next step is for you, whatever those behaviors and things used to keep you from, you are ready. You can step out of that comfort zone and I wish you all the luck with that. But anyway guys, that's it for this video. 
Until the next one, I'm Rob Murphy. Leave a comment down below of anything you think I've missed that may help someone else on their journey overcoming self-sabotage. But anyway guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So bye for now.